Okay, so now let's sketch a proof uh, of the convergence of the EM algorithm to a local max of the likelihood function. So what's the likelihood function? It's just this log of the probability of the data given the um, parameter. So this is the what we are trying to uh, optimize over theta. Uh, what are we working with uh, in the EM algorithm? We're working with the joint uh, uh, distribution of the uh, observed data x and the hidden data z given uh, given theta and uh, since I want the likelihood function to uh, appear here uh, by the way this is a log likelihood function that I wrote here um, so now that we want the likelihood function to appear here I'm going to write this as I'm going to condition on x so z will be conditioned now on both x and theta and then I'll get P of x given theta. So remember, I'm always conditioning on the parameter theta in this model. And uh, now I'm saying that the, suppose there you condition the hidden data on the uh, observed data and theta, and then you'll have, you will have the joint density factoring, factoring like this, right? So this uh, Q of theta given theta L that we deal with uh, in the E step is what? It's the expected value of log of p of xz given theta, that expectation is uh, computed using the current value of the uh, parameter estimate, theta sub l, right, or sub l. And of course, you're always conditioning on the data. And when I, when I now uh, plug in uh, the log of this, uh, this decomposes as the sum of those two quantities, right? So log of the P of, let me write the second term first, P of X given theta. This is the likelihood function that we are interested in plus uh, the log of P of Z given X theta. That's the other part. And the whole thing is conditioned on X and evaluated using the uh, current value of the parameter theta L. Uh, notice that the first term does not depend on Z at all, uh, and X is, uh, of course, given to us. So the first term is just the first term. It's just the likelihood function itself. And then the second term is the log of P of Z given X theta given X theta L. Right? So this is what we are optimizing, uh, maximizing in the M step. So let me change pen, pen color again. Um, in the M step, uh, theta L plus one is the argument of the maximum of Q of theta given theta L, right? So actually, uh, we can actually do less and still the convergence will work. Actually, what we'll need to use that is the following, that what the M step accomplishes is that Q of theta L plus one given theta L is bigger than or equal to Q of theta L given theta L. Why is that? Because at theta L plus one, I'm, I'm maximizing uh, this guy, right? So when I evaluate this at theta equals theta L plus one, it's gonna be bigger than what its value would be if I just evaluated theta equals the current value or uh, current estimate of, of, of theta that I have, right? So that's, uh, that's pretty, uh, uh, pretty clear. And so now, uh, so, this is basically all I need now. I'll show that this is all I need to uh, show that the EM algorithm converges to a local max of the likelihood function. What does that mean? That the M step doesn't have to be uh, computing exactly the maximum over all possible theta of this uh, Q of theta given theta L. As long as this is satisfied, this is enough, basically. This is enough. So, in fact, uh, I can have a generalized uh, EM algorithm where all you try to do, if it's hard to maximize over all theta, uh, 
you basically just try to make sure that this condition is uh, uh, is met in the abstract. Okay, so let's go back to the expression we had. This is the expression we had for Q of theta given theta L. And now uh, plug plug this guy in and 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 um, you know it, it impose this condition. So what do I have? I have that log of the left hand side is log of p of x given theta l plus one. So that's the likelihood function evaluated at the new guy plus the uh, expectation of the log of that second term, which is z given x theta l plus one. And the whole thing is conditioned on x theta l. That is the uh, that's the Q of theta L plus one given theta L, and that has to be bigger than or equal to the corresponding quantities when I plug in theta equals theta L, right? That's what happens in either the EM algorithm or the generalized EM algorithm. So you have that plus, you know, so the likelihood function evaluated at theta L plus the expectation of the log of this conditional density of Z given X, and now I'm going to plug in theta L here, and the whole thing is conditioned on x and theta l, right? So now, um, what do I have? I have that the likelihood function at the new value of theta is bigger than or equal to, uh, the log likelihood function I meant, bigger than or equal to the log likelihood function at the old value of theta plus this uh, this business, right? Basically, the difference of those two terms. So, log of the p of z given x theta l given x theta l minus I'm I'm bringing uh, uh, this term now over to the right hand side. Uh, so minus uh, log of the probability of z given x theta l plus 1 given x theta l. And uh, I want to um, actually define now a quantity that you, you, you would have seen if you have done information theory, but if not, we are going to uh, do a sidebar on, on the relevant, uh, relevant part. I'm going to uh, define the following uh, quantity. Uh, D P, Q for two true probability distributions, P and Q, the divergence uh, between two probability distributions is defined as the expectation evaluated using the distribution P of log of the density of P divided by the density of Q. And what is that? Uh, it's easiest for me to do the, all the derivations in the context of discrete random variables. All of this works for random vectors, continuous random variables, uh, etc. Right. So uh, just uh, bear with me with, while I do it in a more restricted setting. So basically, what's this expectation uh, for a discrete random variable? It's a sum over all possible x, the probability uh, of x times the quantity that I'm uh, evaluating the expectation of, right? This guy. It looks kind of weird, but the key thing is that, uh, uh, and we can, we can do a little sidebar showing why this is the case. The key property here is that it's basically a sort of distance measure between distributions. Uh, it doesn't have symmetry properties, but it is a very useful uh, metric because of the following, that it's, it's actually always bigger than or equal to zero. And equality happens only if and only if P is exactly the same as Q. Those, those two distributions are the same. So now um, let me just uh, say, let's assume this, right? Let's assume this here. And um, let's go back to this term. Look at this term. This is the expectation uh, I was missing a bracket here. This is the expectation of the log of something. So basically, let me just write that difference uh, difference of logs as a ratio. So that is this this guy is the expectation of the log of p of 
z given x theta l divided by p of z given x theta l plus 1 conditioned on x theta l. So now you can see, how am I going to evaluate this expectation? This expectation is evaluated using, you know, P of Z given X theta L. So this guy is exactly the divergence. Let me emphasize then with a different pen color. This, this term is exactly the divergence between P Z given X theta L and P Z given X theta L plus one, and hence it is bigger than or equal to zero. And it's equal to zero if and only if, if these two distributions are the same, basically, uh, you know, if, if, if the uh, theta L uh, plus one is basically the same as theta L and essentially the iterations have uh, converged. So what we have shown here is that, uh, let me summarize that the condition that we had, Q of theta L plus one given theta L is bigger than or equal to Q of theta L given theta L. This thing is equivalent to saying that log of P of X given theta L plus one is bigger than or equal to log of P of X given theta L plus the divergence between those two uh, distributions. So C given X, the hidden, uh, the densities for the hidden variable condition on the two different uh, values of uh, theta, and of course conditioned always on the observation. And, and since the divergence is bigger than or equal to zero, I have that the new uh, log likelihood function is bigger than the old log likelihood function. So it's a, a monotone uh, non-decreasing sequence. The log likelihood functions are under the EM or generalized EM iterations. And, and, and that means that uh, uh, we converge to a local max of the log likelihood function and hence the likelihood function.